Hey friends, Gator Rum here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. Today I'm sharing one of my favorite styles from MZ Wallace. This here is a fully packed to the max <laughs> small Metro Tote Deluxe from MZ Wallace. The pattern is adorable. It's so pretty in person. It is called Spring Camo, and I think that it's really, really fun for spring and summer and all of these warm months coming up. I love this style bag from MZ Wallace. I've liked this particular style, the small Metro Tote, for years and years. I'll link below. Um, a really old video I did on the regular Metro Tote Deluxe if you want to check it out. But they recently, past couple months or so, released a deluxe version of this bag, which means that there's a couple of additional, additional exterior pockets. So you have one here on the outside, another one in the back, and then two more um, exterior zipper pockets, which we'll get to in just a second. They also added the option to carry this bag over your shoulder or crossbody with this awesome adjustable messenger strap. I'm gonna go ahead and actually detach it here just like I typically do before I get into the video so it's not like flopping around the entire time. But this strap here is really nice material. It's trimmed in their leather with like a red trim around here. The hardware is excellent. I had it on the shortest setting because I like to just kind of throw it over my shoulder. Um, but if you are taller and you want to wear it crossbody, this strap is definitely perfect for that. So that is a newer feature that they added. And then of course they added the little rings here on the side that you can attach whatever to your strap or if you want to put your keys or a Metrolink pouch or whatever, you have that option now with these um, little loops here on the side as well. The top tote straps are nice and short. They're perfect to kind of throw over the crook of your arm or you can just kind of carry them like this. Um, that isn't anything new. They actually seem, I don't know, you MZ Wallace fans may be able to correct me on this, but I feel like in this deluxe version, these little grab handles are a little bit longer. Um, maybe they're exactly the same, but I just remembered it being a little bit shorter in the past. But anyways, so I have it zipped up here at the top. As you can see, it is, the zipper fully closes, so your bag is not open in any way. Nine times out of 10 though, and to be perfectly honest, I carry this bag like a bucket tight tote and I never ever zipper it, like zipper the top of it. I don't really do that on a lot of my bags, but I wanted to show you that it could zipper up with it even being packed as full as it is right now um, for those of you that do like to zip up your bags. So let's go ahead and get into some of the pockets. I have this bag packed up for me and my three kids. <laughs> so I have it packed up for like basketball practice tonight. I have some activities for them. I have stuff to keep me busy. So it's really, really full. The only thing in addition that I'm gonna carry with this is a small little cooler bag that just has some snacks. And then of course our water bottles, only because we're gonna be outside for like a long period of time. Um, I don't have a need to pack them inside my bag, but obviously you can pack this bag up however you wish. There's so many different ways that you can use it and um, you don't have to pack it quite as full as I have it, of course. <laughs> so right here on the front of the bag, you do have the MZ Wallace plaque that is pretty standard in most of their bags. Right directly behind that, you have the first pocket of four different exterior pockets. And inside this one, I just like to keep a couple of face masks. I have one for my daughter and I. I also have, um, oh I did, I think he stole it this morning. I had a face mask for my son, but these pockets are so big. As you can see, they go all the way down to the bottom of the bag. So I typically will carry one, if not two masks for everybody in here, um, and they fit in there just fine. The only other thing I have down in there is my Touchland hand sanitizer, which I use like crazy. This is just a power mist hand sanitizer that we love. I will sometimes easily attach this on the outside if I want to also, but having that like exterior pocket right there, I don't have a need to. And I have a Tootsie Roll <laughs> in there. So there you go. <laughs> right directly behind that pocket, you have another exterior pocket. And this one is a little bit bigger than this open pocket here. And it does have a zipper. This pocket is huge. It's really, really big. It goes all the way down to the bottom. You can fit so much inside of it. I tend to not 
pack these pockets too full because I like to use them for things I need to grab for quickly so I don't want to be rooting around. Um, so inside this one I just have my small a Lily Jade leather coin purse. It has a little clasp here if I wanna attach it to like the outside of my bag. And I love the little leather tassel. This is in their old English leather, but inside here I actually just have my earbuds tucked down in there with the charger. So I have that in there ready to go. And then I also have in that pocket my keys. Of course attached to my silicone O-Venture key ring, my house key and my car key. Turning the bag around here to the back of it. It looks exactly like the front only it does not have that metal MZ Wallace logo right here But everything else is exactly the same. I love this print I know I already talked about it, but I think it's I think it's one of their underrated prints like I don't I, I, I know it's not for everybody It's kind of bright blue and yellow, but I absolutely love it. I think it's so cute <laughs> Anyways, okay, so in this pocket back here I just have a couple of small things for me that I would grab for. I love these tart lip glosses. I have two of those, a chapstick, and then just a small little um, pill case. Then in the pocket, the zip pocket directly behind there, I have a package of wet ones. Always have those on me. I also have a package of tissues. And then I also have a small travel pack of these um stress gummies i don't know i i got them randomly obviously it's just a small pack um i can't report if they're good or not but i'm curious if you guys have ever tried these um i've actually had a couple of different vitamins i think by this brand but never actually these stress gummies so anyways i had that thrown down in there um like i said earlier i can easily fit more in these pockets if i wanted to i did want to mention before i get into the actual big part of the bag and show you everything i have packed up in there this bag does come with this awesome pouch it is huge it is so big it has a nice big chunky zipper here at the top and then the zipper pull is trimmed in leather it does have a ring over here so you can attach it to the key leash that's on the inside of the bag and then you can actually fold up your Metro tote. I'm really, really small and store it inside this bag. So it stores up really easily. Um, I tend to not use these pouches too much just because I have a ton of pouches that I like to use, but I did want to mention that this comes with the bag and I'll for sure be storing um, my bag inside of it. The zippers on these Metro totes are nice and chunky, really smooth. I love them. Like I said earlier, I tend to just kind of leave this part open and then I tuck it in the sides. So I can't really see it when I'm using the bag. Um, just because it's personal preference and I like to kind of leave it like this and be able to see everything inside my bag really easily. So after I tuck down those sides, this is kind of what I'm left with, what I look down at. Um, I have, like I said, a lot of pa things packed in here, things I wouldn't typically carry on a daily basis, but it gives you a good idea what I have inside. So. Um, we'll start in the back and kind of work our way up. There are a few interior pockets, which I'll show you at the very end. Um, actually, we'll start in the front here. Right here on the side, I have a big pouch from MZ Wallace. I have forgotten the name of it. I will link it right here um, or write the name of it right here so you guys can find it. I love this pouch. I love it so much. This is actually the first time I've had this in a larger size. I have two of the smaller ones. Um, and I really, really like it. So you have these two pockets here in the front. I'll go through it really quickly. Um, I know some people like to see what's inside every little pocket and others don't, but I'll be quick. Um, I have a couple of lollipops, some itch cream for like bug bites. I have my posh healer stick that I never go anywhere without. Um, that is so perfect for sports and cuts and scrapes and all that kind of thing. Over here in this pocket is a little hair pocket, if you will, for mainly my daughter or I if we need it, a little travel hairbrush, and then a bunch of clips and hair ties just tucked down in there. On the back of the pouch here, you have one long pocket, and then you have this little kind of leather zipper pull. And inside here, I actually just have a couple of Hall's um, cough drops. So those are tucked down in there. Then when you open up the main part here um, of this pouch, I actually have my first aid kit tucked down in there perfectly. I've shown that to you guys a couple of times. I won't pull that out right now, but it has any and everything I need first aid related. I have it tucked down in there because we'll obviously be at sports this week, so that's just kind of a convenient spot for it. You have a little tiny um, pocket kind of back here, 
and I have a couple of these vitamin emergency packs and some water, like sweetener, eyeglass cleaner. And then over here I have some Excedrin and I also have my son's little nose allergy thing. So it's all kind of like medicine related things. It's just a perfect little like all purpose pouch and it would be awesome also for traveling. Right standing next to it here, I also have another MZ Wallace product. This is the convertible crossbody wristlet, I believe. Again, I'll put the name right here <laughs> in case I butchered it, but this is a great wallet slash crossbody. I shared it briefly over on Instagram and I got an overwhelmingly number of people wanting to see a specific review just on this kind of compared to the Crosby wallet. So I'll be sure to do that um, in the near future for you guys. But in a nutshell, you have a zipper here at the top, the nice MZ Wallace logo back here in the back, you have a pocket. The bottom corners are trimmed in leather. It feels so nice. Um, it has a magnetic closure with another small zipper pocket here. And then inside the main opening, you have six or maybe eight card slots there with another little pocket and then a zipper pocket. It is a great on the go wallet. And I love having like an optional crossbody or like grab and go inside bigger bags because I can just throw in my cell phone, my mask, my hand sanitizer, and I'm good to go there. This um, crossbody here does come with a strap that you can attach to the side. It is a nice um, like silver chain strap. And then at the top of it here, you do have a little bit of like a leather piece that's trimmed in the nice kind of red accent there. So it comes with this um, strap here to carry it with, and then it also comes with a leather wristlet. So you have two different options to carry this one. Um, so yeah, that's what I have down in there for my wallet. Then over here in the corner, I just have a pack of gum sitting right in there. And then I have nothing inside the zipper pocket, which is on the front side of this bag. This is a traditional interior MZ Wallace pocket. For those of you that are familiar with those, you have the two smaller pockets inside there and then this small little card pocket in the front of there. So right now I don't have anything inside that pocket. I'm um, right here, kind of moving on into everything in my pouch. I have a large Lily Jade packing case. This comes in a set of three for those of you that are not familiar, familiar with those packing cases. I've shared them a bunch off and on, but I had to kind of touch base on this yellow color because get out of here. <laughs> like, I know this might be a little extra, but I mean, it's fun. <laughs> like, look how well it matches with this bag. It's, it's so fun. I just, I absolutely love it. But the packing case comes with a small, medium and large piece, which I have tucked down in there. These would be awesome to use just by themselves if you didn't pack any other like pouches or anything. This is such a good kind of um, like accordion type way to like organize the inside of your bags. I use this a lot sometimes for like planner things, for snacks, I mean all of the things, makeup, whatever, um, inside these. So basically inside this bag here, I have the large case and it is filled, it is filled this might fall over here. Let me move that back a little bit. It is filled with activities for my kids. So going to basketball tonight, we have downtime in between each other's practices. So I have card games, I have cars, I have these Smelly crayons, which are awesome. And then behind here, I have Sudoku, word search, coloring books, all of that just kind of busy stuff to keep them entertained um, during downtime. So the front of each of these cases are clear. And then the back is just the um, the fabric. So these are a good buy for sure. And just a couple of things left in here. I have my general knowledge test, test prep book that I recently got. I am going back to school. So big announcement. I haven't announced it actually anywhere. <laughs> I plan to kind of share over on Instagram. Um, it has been a lifelong dream of mine to be a teacher and I won't get into the very, very long of it, um, the kind of the background story, but I have less than two years left till I have my teaching degree. I kind of put it on hold and went a different direction many years ago and went into real estate. So now I am back and I'm so excited and my kids are so excited and it's so many good things. So I'm in the middle of kind of prepping for this test, which is one of the requirements to eventually get my teaching certificate. So that's why I have this big old book in here. It's great to just kind of 
thumb through and practice whenever I have downtimes at kids sports and practices and things. Then right behind there, I have a productivity planner um, by Jordan Page. She's like a online blogger, influencer. I just kind of grabbed this on a whim to try it out. It's not really your typical planner like you're used to seeing from me. It's more of a um, like list maker and it talks about blocking your day. If you guys are interested in like more information on this, I can share it. I'm not sure this is gonna be like a forever thing. I've just been kind of playing with it. So I have that down in there. Then right behind there, I don't have anything left in the big bulk here of the bag, but you do have two pockets and I have a hand cream that I've been loving. This scent is so good. It's like a honey vanilla. Um, it's, it's a really, really good hand cream. I've, I've been loving it. Um, so I have that tucked down in there and then I have my Erin Condren little pencil pouch. I know you guys have seen this with my little family's photo fob. And in here, I actually just have pens, highlighters, and all of that kind of thing for my notebooks and books. It has an elastic so you can actually attach it around your planners or notebooks or whatever if you wanted to. So I think that is everything I have. Down inside here, you do have, yep, that's everything. You do have a little leash on the inside that you can attach to that pouch or anything else that you'd like. I love this bag. I cannot recommend it enough. I still have the Valentine's Day um, print, the pink and red kind of, um, is it like tie dyed? It's, you know, it's like kind of faded or whatever. It's so pretty. Um, I still have that one. I never fully reviewed it, but I did share it in a past video. I'll link it below. So. I hope you guys have a great day. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. I'll have everything linked as well um, so you know where to find it.